The one thing we haven't talked about at all in the stream that I would love to talk about is Dan Campbell went off on Jared Goff today. And I was, I was thinking to myself, Dan, I love you, but I don't think you know who you got as quarterback. Because if you think that you're going to get better play out of him by going to a microphone and saying he has to be better, we need more, I don't think you're getting better play. I think you're getting a guy who's going to be like, oh, you don't appreciate what I'm doing? You don't think I'm playing to the best of my ability? Well, next time my shoulder hurts, we're going to see Dan Orlovsky Jr. come in and play for the Lions, and Dan we're Orlovsky really going to push this 17-0, and 0-17 oh, oh bullshit to the limit. We're going to see if we can be in year one of the new schedule a team that can go 0-17. Oh, yeah, because golf, and yes, he's playing bad. But golf ain't no chump. This dude's got a mega deal. Like, he's an important guy. John, John, Jared Goff had the most job security I've ever seen in my life. That's yeah, all I know. He has a mega deal, and I'm low on him. I was saying the Lions are the worst team in the league all offseason. But but honestly, let's look at this. Jared Goff got to a Super Bowl. However you want to talk about it, the defense, the system, the talent, whatever, he played a Super Bowl. He also won a playoff game last year without his opposable thumb on his throwing hand. Like He played pretty well in that game. The guy's done things in the NFL. I don't want him as my quarterback. I don't think he's a top 10 or 15 or even a franchise guy. But if you think for some reason that he's not doing everything he can behind an offensive, like Frank Ragnar's out and Penny Sewell's injured, the offensive line is terrible in Detroit. You're asking him to do something that isn't possible, Dan Campbell. You're going in front of the world and bad-mouthing your veteran quarterback. I looked at that. I was like, dude. I know you're emotional and I know there's a hot mic in front of you, but you have to just reel it in and be like, I can't say what, this shit out loud. Tony, he, Tony he, what's worse? He, what he, he did to Jared Goff after losing six games in a row or what Joe Judge did to Kadarius Tony on live TV after catching like 200 yards and like whatever he did last week. After nah, Tony deserved it. Campbell's is worse. Tony, but he, Tony not, deserved it. Tony's yelled actually at. balling for you. Yeah, Jared Goff didn't right. do anything. I mean, it's he's okay. not doing anything good. Could Tony Tony yeah. deserved to get yelled at. He just went and punched a guy in the head. Campbell basically came mad. to the mic and said, we suck, Goff sucks, and he needs to play better. Like, that's basically what yeah. he said. And you know that it was bad when even Dan Campbell almost stopped himself. He, like, stopped and paused and looked away for a good seven seconds and then looked back and went ahead and said, fuck it, I'm going to say whatever I want. But He tried <laughs> so hard to keep that inside, yeah. and he couldn't. And you can't do that. Reprimanding Tony, he's still a young player. He hasn't proven anything. Like for fantasy, he's had a couple of good moments for us, and we all love him all of a sudden. But he hasn't done anything in the NFL. He's a young player who punched somebody and cost his team like valuable yards, his talent on the field when they were injured, whatever. Jared Goff is on a team that is rebuilding. He's out there trying. He's throwing interceptions because he's desperately trying to win games. If you think that he's out there not giving every ounce that he has, the fact the fact is is that he's not really that good. Like, and you're paying him a lot of money. That's are you are you a Jared Goff truther? He's getting paid more than the coach. I just I just want to use that word because I heard it recently. That's all. <laughs> truther, <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not a Jared I'm not a Jared Goff anything other than you can't go to the microphone after six weeks and think that calling out your quarterback is the reason why you're losing when your offensive line is like injured, when your best receiver is like a third round pick out of USC. Who's given us what in the NFL at wide receiver. Your defense, your, your, your defense doesn't have a player that would start on almost any other NFL team. That isn't as bad as you. That's true. Well, Sergeant is one of the biggest Jared Goff fans I know. So no, he's I mean, not. Take his, take his opinion. He said, he you said they gave him too much money. And guess who gave him too much money? <laughs> Whose house? <laughs> That's who did. <laughs> <laughs> and and here's the thing. Money. Whose money? Here's Why would here's you how you know he's better? not good. The Rams basically said we don't. We're already low on draft picks, and we're gonna send whatever we have left to get rid of him. 